All right, guys, what's up? Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. About to get started here, guys. Got a new map here. It's supposed to be pretty good. And uh, it's all Russian. So uh, let's get uh, let's get started, guys. What is going on in here? What is wrong with this? Oh, there it goes. I don't know why that takes so long. Mudrunner is uh, sometimes a little bit glitchy. Anyways, welcome everybody. Good to have everybody here with us. We got Jason, Seth, Will, Daniel, Robert. Yep, Robert, we're definitely going to be flipping some trucks here, buddy. Randy, Chris, Armando. What's going on, brother? Andrew, Richard. Good to have you here, Richard. Darren. There's Jason. Let's see what Jason says here. Is that, uh, I'm guessing that's some Rob Zombie. Is that Zombie? Is that what that is there, brother? I downloaded a map, and I don't seem to, uh, see it at the very bottom. My list didn't load properly. This might actually be it right here. Although, this could be it, too. Son of a bitch. Ah. <sighs> Why is my mod list all glitched out? Let's go to refresh this list. Date. No, I doesn't change it either. Shit. Well, it's one of these. Maybe I can look. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can look here real quick. Okay. All right. I see which one it is. All right. What's going on, Randy? Good to have you here, my man. Going well. Thanks for asking. Chris, what's going on, man? Welcome. Good to have you guys all here with us. Looks like we got a pretty uh, full crew here as well. All right, let me see here. The one with these big E's. That's it right there. Sure as hell does not look like it. I'm going to be honest with you. No, I don't think that's it. Let me check the list again, guys. on it's got to be here somewhere not it either this crazy russian name i'm guess i'm assuming it's russian guys i didn't see it what the hell hey there's jordan welcome jordan good to have you here man just pick one, darn it. <laughs> I'm trying to find this right the right map, man. When I got a map I want to play, I get hyped up for it. Alright, I gotta I gotta reload my game. Sorry guys, but we gotta do this real quick. Because it's not showing up on the list. But he's doing pretty good, Jason. Thanks for asking, brother. He's doing much better than he was, uh, like that, uh, the other day. What was it, like two days ago now, I think it was. A little concerning. 
Reading Russian sim. There you go. No starless tomb. Yeah, there you go, Robert. Good man. Robert's filling in. That's how you move up in the ranks. This game takes forever to start. I don't know why, guys, but... That's why we're at this blank screen right now. They're still not in the right order, but that's all right. Let me see here if I can find this. If I can't, I'll just pick something else, guys. Almost looks like it, but it's not. That is it. What the hell? Why does that not look like the picture? Isn't that the? Didn't I click? Okay, where'd it go? Didn't I pick this one before? That's not the picture of the map that they show. The picture of the map that they show. There's like islands over here. Where's Red Dead? I don't play Red Dead, brother. I'm not one of those guys that was all hyped up about it. Honestly, I've never played it. I think if they had, like, uh... If there was, like, some kind of, like, Wild West open world game where it was all multiplayer and you could make your own, like, you know, homestead and go rob people and all that kind of shit, that might be kind of cool, but... I'm just not a huge fan of those games. All right, we'll bring a couple mods, but I am probably gonna pick out uh, this one for sure. Take the uh, the Western Star. Yep, we'll definitely take the Western Star. It gives us five points to work with. Take that Mercedes back out. Or we could go with another stock vehicle. Hmm. You pick some other mods, maybe. Not sure what that is. <laughs> I'm not hating, Randy. I'm not hating. It, it's supposedly going to be an absolutely amazing game. Somebody was telling me about it. One of the things they were telling me about it is apparently the the horse's testicles are realistic. And, uh, yeah. He was going into some detail about that. And I was just like, what the hell? Why? <laughs> and how is that something that you're now, you know, you're looking forward to? Huh. Take this with. A701. I've never used that. Gives us two stars left. Nice, Randy. So you're actually playing it? Alright, that's going to be my trucks. Uh, what's today? Where's, uh, where's Robert? He should be back. Gold Rush is on. Oh, is it the new one is on? I still haven't watched any of the new ones yet from this uh, this season. 
I usually just wait. That way I don't have to, like, wait for the next week. I'll just watch them, because they'll show them all in a row, you know? Alright, I was, uh, inviting somebody. I was inviting Crown to see if he was gonna come in, but I don't think he is available. So we're just gonna get started here, guys. Mining sim would be sweet. They have, um... I mean, they have that gold rush sim. Oh shit, now Crown's getting on. He's not gonna be able to get the mods, I don't think. I don't know. Nice, Jason, my man, 50 stars. Getting it started here. Appreciate you sending those in there, brother. George, buddy's doing real well, man. He's doing a lot better than he was, for sure. So, pretty thankful that it uh, just turned out to be what it was. The right one? Yeah, that's the last one I picked. Pretty sure that's going to be the only one available. All right, now i got to pick these uh, vehicles out here real quick, guys. Apologies. I think. I have, I have no idea what to expect on this, so that's why I'm just trying to uh, give a variety of vehicles. What happened to Calvin? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, monkey. Didn't mean to send that to you, brother. Alright, there's Cal. We got the map. Let's get our vehicles and get going here, guys. Yeah, Randy, I heard that they did improve it, that they put out a lot of patches. It's just when I look at some of the reviews, they're, you know, some of them are very recent and they're mentioning glitches. So then I'm just thinking like, uh, what is the deal with this game? Is it glitched out or not? Like... It's hard to tell if it's going to be, uh, you know, a clean game. I really don't want to play a game that's super glitched out. Where was that uh, one vehicle that I had? The K701. I want to see that again. I would separate this by vehicles and maps. Put it in alphabetical order. Or something. Probably gonna scroll right past it. Because it probably didn't just start with a K. It probably started with something else and said K701. Nice, Randy. Yeah, let me know. What's up, Nick? Welcome, buddy. Not this again. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I gotta find this uh, K701 and then we'll get started. Come on, where is it? There. Got that. I got two stars left. I don't even have the same vehicles picked. Whatever. Stars left. I'll take a Humvee. 
and go exploring. All right, looks like these guys are still downloading, and then we'll get started here, guys. Chris, what's going on, man? Welcome. Yeah, James, they they talked about bringing random uh, random animals into the uh, the forest here. That was something mentioned that uh, may come in the future. I think it'd be pretty cool, man. If you saw like a herd of deer off in the distance, it'd be really cool. Nice, Jordan. There you go, bro. He's got the Nintendo Switch and he's got spin tires going on it. What do you think so far, Jordan? Yeah, that'd be cool, James. See a bear just roaming through the forest or across the road in front of you. Oh man, Roy, that's not good to hear, brother. Well, hopefully you start feeling better here, man. Just pay attention to the stream, get your mind off, uh, you know, all the stress and all the bullshit. Don't stress about it. Just stay positive. Your mind's a powerful thing, Roy. Oh my god, I forgot to bring uh, the Western Star. Son of a bitch. Alright, I won't go back. Don't worry, guys. Everybody else has their... Oh, no, I did bring the Western Star. I didn't bring something. Nope, I don't care. I'm happy as long as I got this. I'll take this H1 out and go exploring because this map is pretty much all blacked out. This is going to be a skill map. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and predict it. Nice. Seth is playing as well. Oh, all right, Jordan, let me know when you get it up, brother. Remember, just take it slow. Wow, this is a pretty cool map. We got trucks parked in the garage right there we can just take. That's awesome. Whoa, got two guys chilling at a picnic table over there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that was pretty cool. My man, Jason, six or er, 51 stars. Thanks for sending those in, brother. Oh, all right, guys. So far, so good. That van right there is kind of weird. I mean, it just has six guys chilling in it. There's nobody in the driver's seat. They're all just sitting in the back. It looks like there's fuel tanks, like 50, 55 gallon fuel barrels, just chilling in the back of that van. Boss, just pointing that out. All right. Anyways, back to the trail here. We're gonna follow Crown. Go down here. Open up some of these watch points. And then uh, we'll figure out the strategy for uh, completing this map. Well, what's wrong with the Hummer, man? This thing is a beast. As Crown almost loses it. Good stuff there, Crown. Not quite sure why he just backed up. Might need to give him a little toe there. No, he's got her. Nice, we all got the uh, the Humvee out. <laughs> Literally everybody, Calvin's in one. Everybody's loving the new vehicles. There was a patch today too for spin tires. I didn't even check to see what it was though. Yeah, Armando, they are, man. They look sick, they're, they're powerful. 
Look at this bridge. This is pretty cool. Check your tags. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked everything, Kevin. I don't think I saw anything from you, brother. I don't think. I can check again. Holy shit, I just totaled. <laughs> just slapped that fence and totaled this thing. Well, that wasn't good. Alright, let's go. Logging near Chernobyl. I'm sure it'll be fine. They say, uh, that, you know, good things about Chernobyl. Their whole radiation thing's bullshit. Objective of the game, Brian says. Brian, basically we're trying to establish an off-road logging company here on this, uh, crazy terrain. There are is there already is uh, you know some things already set up in this map, so we're out here to basically reclaim the land. There's going to be lumber mills out here that we're going to have to deliver to. We're going to need to go to uh, like log kiosks or salvage skite uh, sites, and scavenge some lumber. That's what I meant to say. And then from there, you got to make your way all the way through the woods, through all this swamps and rivers mountains, all kinds of craziness. And then you gotta deliver the lumber. And that's basically the whole objective. You're also gonna be unlocking uh, garages along the way that are gonna help you outfit your vehicles with different equipment. Right now what we're doing is we're in this, this Hummer and we are out here looking for watch points. Because what the watch points do is they allow you to see the map. Right now someone already has gotten a watch point, probably Calvin. We are on our way all the way out here. Here's one lumber mill you can see. Here's another one. There's another one, another one. This is a big map. Another one. Here's a garage that we're going to need to unlock. Here are the log kiosks. So this is going to be your pickup area and then your delivery points. And I don't see any up there at the base. There's a fuel station up there to uh, fuel up your trucks. And it's up here, so we're going to need to uh, have tankers full of fuel and position the trucks, you know, around the map to help fuel up everybody that's still in work. Don't go into that river right now. Or what Kibby's doing. So far, this map isn't disappointing here, guys. Looks pretty damn nice. Can't wait to bust out that K uh, K seven oh one. Almost looks like a rock truck from uh, from uh, Gold Rush. Just without the bucket on the back. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Oh. Oh, there he just got pushed off.
can see kind of where the sandbar is under the water. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So this is going to be one of the watch points. Ooh, wrong side to pick there, brother. That's like the swamp right there. I'm going to ease off the throttle, and you see the tires start to get a little bit more traction, and you're actually going to move better than just, you know, holding the pedal down. In certain, cer cer uh, certain situations. The second custom bridge on this map. Pretty cool so far. This guy's got a lot of time into this. Some of the maps you can tell are really rushed. Some of the maps these guys really dedicate and put their time into. This is definitely one someone put time into. Need the guys from Axemen. I need to tag them when I go, uh, you know, go live. Get them in here watching. All right, so here's a lumber mill. I was, I should have been looking at the map, but looks like it's pretty straightforward to deliver to after you get across that river. There is a road right here. That's the easy way, but the post is blocked when you come through with lumber. This is going to be under the bridge, so that wouldn't work as a path. Yeah, you're pretty much set on one course to get to this lumber mill. That's what I was wondering when I was looking at the map, and the fact that the log kiosk was where it was, and all the uh, logging sites were over here. I was like, I wonder if this guy's going to have it set real direct, and limit your options. There you go, James. I love how all these mud chunks are flying up. Shit. I thought I could hit fourth gear to keep up with him, but apparently I couldn't keep the uh, speed going in the mud I was in, I guess. engine guys no more repairs well that ride is over I think we do have a vehicle over here though we can take this down this road need a tow This thing certainly doesn't handle like the Hummer does. Look at my guy in there. He looks so packed in there. This thing's like a matchbox. What is going on, Ryan? Oh, she certainly can't handle third. Get a boat. I should have brought the bridge truck. Started setting up bridges everywhere. Looks a little top heavy. I see him flipping the feature. There's no way this thing's flipping, bro. 
No way. She's solid, boys. Solid as a rock. Pin it, Kevin says. Let's try to pin it, Kevin. Let's hit second. We'll go for third, guys. Oh, right as we hit something. It's still going, though. Damn, this truck sucks. <laughs> Shannon, I can feel it, brother. I can feel it, okay? But Humvee is obviously superior to this damn little thing. It's so tall and so narrow. It's like, man, you could just tip this thing if you tried. Oh, look at that. Cruising through the lily pads. Oh, it's going to get stuck. Shit. Whoa, Timothy, my man. 500 stars from Timothy. <clears throat> Appreciate that, man. Hopefully I don't sink this little truck. Come on, there's all kinds of wood out here. Let me winch something over there. Come on, baby, get out of here. Nice, Jason, 501 stars. Awesome, guys. Very much appreciated, Jason. We are trucking along nice here, guys. Gee, how far are we? Okay, we just started to get into the uh, undiscovered area. Pretty much want to follow this down and look for a right-hand turn, I guess. Might have actually wanted to go that way. George, I'd love a dozer in here, man. That's my dream in this game, to get a, a bulldozer. Level this shit out. weird can't roll anything yet bro we gotta wait until we have valuable cargo on you know and then we're almost to the delivery point and then roll it that's what people want to see they want to see rhinos hopes get up think he's gonna achieve his dreams and then achieve failure you sadistic freaks <laughs> no I'm just kidding guys although there are some of you out there but it's always good times whether we fail or we succeed good times are definitely to come if there's a bridge right here we gotta be careful all right that's not as bad as I thought Thing didn't even move. But he's doing good, Greg. Thanks for asking, brother. He's doing a lot better. He's eating food again. For that that one day there, he wasn't he wouldn't eat his food. I mean, you guys, buddy's a twenty pound cat. You just say to him, you know, do you want to eat? And he's all about it. But uh, I was putting food right in his face, and he just was not about it. So that's when I was starting to get a little concerned. But somehow he bit, you know. 
bit through his uh, bottom lip, one of his top fangs, basically just came down and punctured his lip really bad. And then it had like this nasty scab on it. But the vet, they took some uh, like peroxide or something on a cloth and they wiped off that. And then they could figure out what was going on. So they gave him some antibiotics and they gave him the painkiller. And uh, they gave him like a, a shot of steroids just to help in case. I guess he had like a little, ul like a tiny ulcer on the top of his lip as well. So. Maybe that's what stemmed it, who knows. But he's good to go now. You should have seen this vet wrestling him. It was a woman vet. And Buddy does not like anybody but me. He tolerates Mrs. Rhino. He doesn't hate her or anything, but... He doesn't let anybody touch him but me. That was pretty interesting to see in her wrestle him. She actually held on to him and, like, you know, got him to basically submit. It's like we're just wrapping around here, guys, on this trail. Pretty cool how many downed trees are on this. On this trail. It'd be interesting coming through here later. It'd be really nice if we could clear the trails, though. Just make that an option. Make it so you can come through here with a front end loader or a bulldozer or something and push some damn trees out of the way. This little toy can't even get over that thing. Boy needs some nip. He does need some nip. Yeah, Greg, for sure, brother. I mean, that's how I look at them. Some people don't, you know, look at that their animal that way. I totally do. Yeah, toy truck for sure. Definitely think we want to go to our, uh, I think we're just going to stay straight here, guys. I think that's going to take me up and out of this, uh, area. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Another block post. There's a lot of block posts. They just impede the, the travel of uh, logging trucks. I don't know why it's a thing in the game. I guess just to help add difficulty. It's kind of weird though. Oh, wow, look, an excavator. Wish we could use that. Oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Is that like a construction area? Where are we at on the map? Getting close to this garage.
Man, she's barely moving through this mud. It's deep. Got some speed going now, boys. And then the road goes to shit. This will be an interesting trail to come up with logs. Oh wait, I'm not sure you can actually because of the block post. That's what we needed right there. Got a, what is that? B6A? Oh, the tractor. This thing is so useless. Nice, got some vehicles over here. Nice trailer. Alright. Let me see here. I think we have enough unlocks so that we can get, uh... We can get some supplies going to that garage. Alright, I believe that road definitely is going to connect with this one right here. You could probably bank on that. How do you get into... Trying to plan out how I want to get there, guys. Yes, and that connects with that. So if I would leave from here, come across here, follow that trail down, that should be the quickest way to the garage. You, the alternative would be coming around that way. This way you get... A nicer road overall, I'm pretty sure. Oh no! Game just crashed on us, guys. Let's get that restarted there. Man, I don't know why that happened. Yeah, really, Greg. It would definitely be cool if you could use something like that in this game. I don't know how you would use it exactly. Make it so that uh, there's an area where you just have to fill in a bunch of mud. Or, oh my god, make it so you could, like, divert the river. That would be really cool. And then, like, once you divert the river in a certain area, there's all these uh, scavenge logs that would be, you know, laying on the... Uh, the bottom and then you'd go in get them out that's asking for too much seriously hoping that uh, we're not gonna lose our progress there all right nice
Oh, okay. So it looks like it went back to a save point before we got that watch point. We're gonna have to drive up here again and get that. Well, that was a little bit of a bummer. What the hell? Oh, that was weird. I didn't even see myself drive into it. Alright, back to what we were doing. With the Western Star. All right, guys. Go and get out of here. Yeah, I can make a left out of here. Where's that fuel station at? That's actually up this way. Let's go hit the fuel station. Wait. It kind of shows that you could drive through there, but I'm kind of seeing a building there. Now we're on our way. A little tight in here. So I guess I gotta pull out of here to get over to the fuel. Oh shit. Took my eyes off the road for a second and run into a tree. Yeah, at least we didn't lose it all. Absolutely, man. That would have sucked. Come on. All right, Kibby's ready to go. Alright, kid. Let's do it, brother. So we're gonna go around and hit this road. Follow that pretty much the whole way. He drop his trailer. Them trees just jump out. Yeah, exactly, Roy. Thank you, man. Somebody gets it. Trav, we got a couple people here in the uh, watching that are playing Red Red Dead. And yeah, Greg, they definitely need to make it so that if you want, you can go out and you know repair the roads or even create roads. Trav, I don't have any way of playing it, brother. I'm a PC gamer here, bro. I'm pretty sure that's a PlayStation game, isn't it? Oh, shit. The Kibby rolled something right there. Let's try not to do that. And honestly, dude, I don't really think I'd be into that kind of game. I just don't have any interest. Nothing against it, just, you know. 
Make sure we're going right. Yep. Nice, Seth. Go spin some tires, my man. Once we get to that, that first road, things should be pretty smooth. Damn, Jason, that's crazy, brother. Whoa, we just lost our trailer and it flipped. <laughs> I think we might be able to attach that one. Oh no, it just fell. Gotta try to push it back and then uh, roll it over. was pretty easy. Now we just gotta move this over a little here. I don't wanna go too fast because then we'll just tip it back over. I'm using a steering wheel, a six speed shifter, pedals with a clutch, and a keyboard and a mouse. That way I get the full experience here. Definitely better, 100% better to play this game in particular with a steering wheel and a shifter and pedals. It's just, it's so much more enjoyable, honestly. Especially when you're driving over the tough terrain and you have to be using the steering wheel, you know, and you're going back and forth and it's fighting you because the, the steering wheel has uh, feedback. And in this game in particular, it's really strong. It's pretty much on all the time because, you know, look at the mud that we're in. So it's almost like, uh, Driving a car and the power steering is gone. It's not that hard, but... It's definitely not just like turning a regular steering wheel when you play like a race car game or something. Can't go really too much faster here. As you can see, our tires are already pretty much spinning. We're not gonna hit second gear, and it just wants to stall out. Just a really muddy area. Probably actually be lighter on the throttle. That way, that way the tires get a little bit better uh, grip. Like he's doing the same, just slow and steady. Like there's not a lot of weight really on the truck, it seems like. That's why the wheels are just spinning so easily through this mud. I don't even have my foot like on the gas. 
at that point. It's, now it's starting to stop, but... Check the map here again real quick. All right, just to make sure. All right, now we got, ah, oh shit, missed a gear. Now we got, I think there's better uh, soil around here. Oh shit, that's a rollover spot if I've ever seen one. Wait, I didn't just try to turn it right there. There's Kibby. Might have got stuck back there. Looks like he did get stuck back there. Almost had the first flip of the night there, boys. Everybody got excited. And then Rhino saved it. There's like another area where you can flip. Shit. But almost slipped off the edge. A lot of areas to flip in here, guys. Western Star is pretty beast, I gotta tell you. Kibby got unstuck. Hopefully this trail is going to lead to this post right here. Like we want to go left. Let me see if he gets past. Yeah, he slowed down. <laughs> he knew. Looks like he went a little off the road there, probably to keep it from flipping. Oh, he's going really off the road now. Whoa, what the hell? What is he doing? <laughs> All right there, buddy. I don't know what's going on down there. Shortcut gone bad. That's pretty funny, guys. Just happened to be looking at the map. Because that's where I almost rolled it. Looks like he's stuck down a, a ditch now, like a, a ravine or something. Look at the name of this place right here. Go ahead and say that for me there, somebody. Alright, where is this post at here? Oh, we gotta make this turn.
Is there another post? Is this just... Yeah, this is the right way. Kinda weird they have two posts in this area. Driving up Lover's Leap. Screw that trailer. Just enough room. Oh, wow. Well. Made that plenty fine. Almost there, guys. Got a nice little sunrise coming up there. Looks like Tim just stepped in the house, everybody. Welcome, Tim. Good to have you here, man. That's a rhino's natural enemy right there, guys. A bridge. Yeah, don't worry. Robert's got this covered, Tim. Doing real well, my friend. How is Tim doing tonight? Wait, where the hell is this garage at? I'm on the wrong damn way, boys. I crossed that bridge and I wasn't supposed to. I knew something was wrong here as soon as I saw this area. Missed that turn back there. I'll be able to go over this crap, no problem here. I can't even see where the turn is. Literally right on the other side. Right at that construction site? I'm kinda confused. How the hell do you get there? You drive through this? You drive through that place. Ah, oh, gate is shut. What the hell? What is going on? There's just no access to the garage from right here, right now. Come on, man. How the hell is that gate shut? Man, it's so muddy in this area. Oh, the faster I can go. If I just try to floor it, it just keeps spinning, it seems like. Yo, Brian, my man. Welcome, bro. Good to have you here with us. We are out here in a new map. I have no idea what it's called. It's completely in Russian. But we got the new DLC uh, vehicles with us. We have uh, another vehicle with us called the K, uh, what was it? K701. Looks pretty cool. We're going to test that thing out. Right now, we're trying to get this garage unlocked. I think Kibby gave up on his trailer. Someone else might be running a trailer out here. If not, I could try to run another one out here myself. Kyle, maybe it will open up. Maybe it would. Maybe it would. I've never seen a gate like that in the game that opened up, but... Lo and behold, there's one over here as well. So, maybe that is an automatic gate, and I just uh, needed to drive up to it. Drive through the gate. 
Well, we're just gonna have to drive up to this thing and see what happens. It'd be pretty cool if it just opens. You have to push it open. Oh my god, that's funny. I definitely thought that would have been locked. Or, you know, just like a barricade. Alright, so we need one more point to unlock this garage. Wow. wonder what could do that. I don't think so. This says can carry short logs. We'd have to bring something out here. Unless somebody else can get something here. I'm not sure. I don't think that... No. No, no, no. Alright, guys. Let me, uh, let me go grab a drink. And then we will figure out what we're going to do next here. So, be right back.
All right, guys. We are back. Apologies, that took a little longer than expected there. I found a box of donuts on the table when I went out to get some drink. Or, get a drink. <clears throat> so, of course, I had to eat one. Man, that thing was good. All right, guys. Let's... <clears throat> Let's figure out what we're going to do. Nice. Looks like Kibby is on the way. He's at the post right now. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. I just uh, made a realization here. Might be simpler. It might be a lot simpler to run a logging truck from this garage to the logging kiosk than this garage. This garage, it looks like we're going to have to go out of here. Cross that. Come through that area. Come down, around. And then enter and go there. This way, you just come down through here. Straight down through here. And go. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, let's 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 head down there, guys. We're going to take this thing with us. We're going to put the uh, the loader on here. We take a medium log trailer with us as well, but we would have to park that next to us to load it. I'm not too wild about that. So let's just take this by itself. This should carry a uh, load of medium logs. That's pretty good just by itself. That's for, that's a pretty cool uh, in cab view. Steer for shit. Turn, turn. For God's sakes. All right, we are on our way, guys. This should be pretty uh, simple. Let me just reference the map again here. Pull out of here, just stick to our left. Tim, I'm feeling great, brother. I am feeling great. We're out here, spin some tires. I know Buddy's good. We got these new vehicles. We got a decent map. I got a full game. I got all my viewers here. What more could I ask for? Got Mrs. Rhino in the other room. Life is grand. Matthew, what's going on, brother? I don't know if I saw you come in earlier or not. I don't think I did. Welcome, man. Jordan, 10 stars. Thank you, Jordan. And then 11 stars. <laughs> Gotta plug in my headset. Starting to go dead here, guys. Shit. Hang on a second here. Looks like my... Uh... My wire fell. Son of a bitch. Jordan, 12 stars, 13 stars, 14 stars. He's just ticking away here, folks. Appreciate all of those, Jordan. Every star heads up here, guys. Let me see, where are we going here? Stick to the left, that's right. Looks like Seth jumped in there with 15 stars.
Whoa, shit, shit, no, 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 no! Oh my god, I saved it. I think it's saved. I think it's alright. We're fine. Ooh, boy, that was close. That was real close. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get out of here, but at least we're not flipped. Be able to throw a line. Maybe there's nothing to winch to over there. Ah, game, why do you hate me? Jordan 16 stars. I'm not going to be able to get out of here. I definitely need someone to help me. My trailer is hooked on... The front is hooked on like this. I could go forward, but then it's going to hit that tree in the back. I only have like that much room to work with. I could winch my trailer. Or the rear. Let me see here. I could winch this. It won't work anyway, but I'm out of here. Winching to that doesn't do anything. It has to be ideally it would be like right over here I could winch to. I can get out of here real quick. Because you don't share Kit Kats or Donuts. Come on, kid. Oh, I hear somebody coming. There we go. Kibby to the rescue, guys. Shit. It's not working out like I thought it would here. There it goes. There it goes. Oh boy. Am I seeing this right? Am I, is my crane getting stuck on that tree now? Oh no, no, no. It's that front section. There we go. Should be pretty good now. Let me see here. It might still need a little bit of a... My cursor. Alright, Jordan 22 stars. Seth 23 stars. And then we got uh, Jordan 500 stars. Appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Before that, it looks like it was Jordan 20, Seth 21. I don't know if I already called those out. But uh, thank you very much, brother. We got our truck out. We are good to go. This is supposed to be real simple. Until I took my eyes off the screen. 501 stars now from Jordan. Very much appreciated, bro. Good stuff. So you can get this thing turned around. This thing is so long. Seth, 501 stars. Jesus, just to get this thing turned around. All right, now we're good. Star Wars driving Rhino crazy. <laughs> I just, I don't even hear the sound at, at one point there. I was just like, it was like getting tuned out. Oh, nice. You 
Street down this trail, yeah. We'll race him. We only got three speeds. Yeah, this thing ain't winning no races. <laughs> Jordan said I lost. Oh, poor Jordan. That's alright, brother. You can't win them all. Hey, Adam. What's going on, man? Welcome. Kyle, 45 stars. Appreciate that, bro. Vroom, vroom. started going south there on us boys look at that thing it just walks itself off of there what the hell are you doing you piece of garbage Kyle did you send some sorry brother I didn't mean to miss that Nice, Adam. Hope you had a good time, brother. All is well. All is well. Happy to report. Right on, Jordan. Right on. It's all about entertainment and having a good time in here, guys. That's what streaming's all about here. <laughs> Roy. I like that, man. Lake Rhino. Where's Lake Rhino? I need to drive through it. This is a pretty cool trail down through here, actually, with the power lines and the water on both sides. Feels safe. I could flip at any second, though. Driving this damn thing. Hey now, Tim. Careful with that C word. The Ip the Ipa's listening, bro. It's all vegetable oil. You could eat it. I can't appreciate that comment, bro. Adam, totally, man. This thing seems pretty cool so far, but we'll see. We'll see how it handles. We're in third gear, you know, flat out right now. Just making sure everybody's going the right way. Yeah, there you go, Greg. The biodiesel.
This is a good rollover area. Up, 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 crowd, crowd. I thought he was going to go over. I tried to stop him real quick, but he just rode it out. <laughs> that thing looked like it was going to just go down. Sometimes all you can do is just ride it out. <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Very true, bro. Very true. Oh, we're giving it to you now, Kevin. Look, we're catching up, man. Ground's taking it off road there, apparently. What's the holdup up here? What's going on, guys? We hit the wrong spot or what? Come on, cow. What the hell is he doing? Oh shit, now he's backing up. Let's see if we can go right. Well, we won't be able to come out this way, but we can go in this way. She's a good whoop if, if she's a good woman, Adam. Should be able to just follow this trail, I think. Yeah, there you go, Greg. That's what he's doing. Pulled over to take a smoke break. Or pulled over to take a piss. Alright, there's a logging kiosk. We just gotta pull up next to that and be able to load up. Then we'll figure out which logging mill we're uh, gonna try to get to. Or which lumber mill. Pretty sure this takes medium. Oh shit. When you know it. Yeah, that'll fit in here, no problem. Alright, let's see if this new hook or uh, crane can pick up more than one log. It looks like it can. It looks like that's a huge grabber. sideways so I can get them both really well. It's fun. Nice. Crane seems to work pretty well. A claw is really nice. That's the best one I think I've ever used. Um, what's going on, bro? Welcome, man. New map, new vehicle. Wait, your truck can't carry this load? Doesn't take medium logs? What? So it takes short logs. Wow. 
Okay. Looks like those medium logs fit in there pretty well. Kind of a bummer. I wish I would have realized that at the time. The claw spawn. There we go. Okay, this thing can pick up three logs at a time? Hell yeah, it can. Ah, oh, I just dropped that one. That's a shame, though. Because now I'm just going to be dropping off a small load by itself. I thought I was going to at least be dropping off a medium load. I really can't believe they made this small logs. This truck should be able to take medium logs, no problem. That's just not cool. Packed up, ready to go. Looks like Kippy's trying to use that thing to load logs. You, sir, are uh, pretty talented if you can get that to work. I don't know how he's going to get that to go. Holy shit, he just rolled the truck right there. I'll get out of here. Pretty sure I have to go a different way. Yeah, I can't go out this way. Look at that again. Let's drive all the way around the yard and go out the north entrance it looks like you can see uh, Calvin over oh shit sorry bro just jumped in that vehicle as I drove through. But Calvin's over there loading logs into his trailer. He brought a medium and a small. So the truck carries small logs, the trailer carries the mediums. That's what I should have done. I should have just brought that medium trailer, but I figured one medium load would be enough. Oh well. It's going to require more than a medium and a small log. Uh, a medium and a small load to complete the lumber mill anyways. That'll be seven out of eight points. So it's gonna require one small load there anyway. So we'll just get that out of the way first, I guess. Just wanna point out if anybody's new to the stream and you guys are enjoying it, make sure you hit the follow button. That way you can get notifications uh, when we go live. You can also check out the White Rhino 09 Facebook page. There's a lot of good posts on there. You can find all of the past broadcasts. 
There's a lot of uh, past streams that are pretty cool to check out. When I'm not live, that's going to be a good uh, a good thing to check out. Oh, shit. I had no idea those were even out of fuel. Well, I'm glad I wasn't defending on them. I could have brought that tractor all the way over here. I guess that's what they try to intend you to do. You're right. What, bouncing around? He's in there like all fidgety it looks like. Damn, this thing is horrible on fuel. We're all about out of fuel ourselves here. Yeah, definitely need to get some fuel going here. It's not a bad vehicle at all. The turning radius sucks. It's handling these small logs, you know, with ease, but I mean, any truck should, any vehicle should handle, you know, a load of small logs, no problem. Now, if we had the medium trailer on, that would be or interesting. The reason I didn't bring it is just because the crane can't even reach it when it's hooked up behind us. And I would have to uh, unhook it, basically, park it beside me, load it, load myself, then hook up to the trailer. Which isn't that big of a deal, it's just kind of ridiculous you need to do that. Hey Chad, a lot of people find this entertaining, man cool to watch this is definitely not a game you see every day I think we're all but out of fuel right now you can hear it sputtering Yeah, I don't think five gallons are going to cut it, considering we're burning, uh, you know, like 16 liters a minute. Is it three liters in a gallon, or is it four? I think it's three. All right, anyways. We have to go all the way back that way. How do I have... What the hell? How do I have two of these? Oh, wait. No, this is the K701. That was the other round. I was getting... I got confused there for a second. I was like, wait, what the hell? Look, guys. Cabin protection. Definitely need that. Make this a fuel truck. What else? Air kit. Trailer points. What the hell is that? For 
logs. Don't drive in the pond by the garage. Yeah, I pretty much probably wouldn't have done that either way, but thanks for the heads up there. All right, let's go hit that fuel and just drive down there. This shouldn't be too bad. Got a CB floating in the air there. What am I listening to? I'm not listening to anything. He said he lost a vehicle in the river and it was doing rolls down the river. I wanted to see it. Yeah, you hear that? I think it's just constantly whistling. Alright, now we get to fill it up. Fill up our repair kit. Nice. We got a lot of fuel with us. This thing's pretty cool so far. This is a modded vehicle, too. This is, doesn't just come in the game. Definitely looks like something that should have came with the game. It looks like they took, like, uh... <clears throat> the, uh, what is it? The K700, and then they just altered the rear. And the front, obviously, because it doesn't have the uh, attachment up there or anything. Pretty badass looking. See the extra jugs of fuel right there? Alright, which way is it? To the right? You can go to the left, but that leads to that pond he was talking about, I think. Oh, that's an idea. I'd have to drive all the way back in there, though. I wouldn't be able to just go through this easy area. I'd have to go all the way back around. I could do it next time. I might just switch to another vehicle. That was a good call, Roy, but that vehicle is just too far along. I'm not going to bother with it at this point. Appreciate it, though. Yeah, I think this one turns better because the tires are bigger. And there's not as many in the front, you know, it's not the four in the front. Making sure I'm on the right course here. Nice, got a fan in here. I didn't even notice that. That's where the breeze is coming from. This thing even has a 2018 inspection sticker on it. Nice. Gonna have to get that uh, updated there soon. All 
Nice, Kevin. Like a little Greta. <clears throat> I just noticed this thing actually has a fourth gear. I don't think it can handle third. Ah, it's starting to go. I put the all-wheel drive back on. Oh, it's slowing it down even more now. I'm gonna have to put it in first. Let's see if we can hit second now. Now hit third. Oh, it starts. It seems like it starts to get bogged down there, but now it's starting to pick up pace. Going downhill. Nice, David. Make sure you enjoy, brother. Soak it up while you can, bro. Yeah, Adam, got a nice little crowd in here. Had about 100 people in here earlier. Let's see how fast we can get this thing going here. Come on, third gear. Come on. I don't like that third gear. second I think all oh, waiting for you to flip a truck <laughs> not happening will 81 and windy ah oh, man could do without the wind second gear it, it definitely seems at certain points like you could you could get it into third. It's just the third gear must be really long. Turtles in the pond just passed you. Yeah, right, man. We're flying right now. Look at that. What are we doing? We're doing at least five. Uh, a little low. Yeah, we're a steady five mile an hour right here. Oh, wait. That's kilometers. Shit. This isn't one of the American vehicles. Oh, the hell are we hitting there? Okay, we got a bunch of vehicles down here. Are these guys all out of fuel? Where is, uh... My vehicle is somewhere in that cluster of trucks. Everybody's waiting on fuel. There we go. Love that. What the hell? Why can't... Oh, he's outside the circle. glitching out there straight ahead oh no that's literally the edge of the world that's why it looks like <laughs> I never even noticed that before all right so yeah we're gonna hook this right hand turn three point one one miles per hour 
<laughs> Thanks for the uh, converge, uh, converting that uh, over. Turtles do seven, Seth says. I don't believe you, Seth. 32 tonight in Maine. Yeah, it's not quite that cold here. I'm sure it will be soon enough, though. Not looking forward to it. Switch tractors out. Yeah, seriously. We'll have to mess around with that one later, maybe. Switch it out. See what kind of logging we can do with that. It might not have a loader, though. can hit third gear in this one. But that's your last gear. <laughs> According to Google, Turtle do six point one. <laughs> All right, Seth. Well, thanks for the information. Appreciate it, brother. Look, we're doing... God, man. What are we doing? We're not even doing five miles an hour in this damn thing. It's bouncing around a bit. Looks like we're doing a steady four. There is no way in hell a turtle is passing me. There's no way. I just couldn't believe that. That, that does not seem realistic. Probably be looking at the map. It'd be nice if I had like a little. Oh, look at that joystick right there. That's pretty cool. It'd be nice if they had like a little GPS. Oh wow! I guess you hop in that seat then to operate the crane. That is legit. Oh shit! And that is a tree. Damn, Roy, 80 would be nice. Nice, Armando, first free stars. 100. Thanks for those, my man. Let's figure out which side we want to take here. So... I think you can get around that post. It's just blocked to go that way. Follow that road that would lead to that lumber mill. Guess that's where we're going to go. So let's hook this, uh, this left. What the hell are those guys? Why are they so far back? I guess that shows you the weight difference between a truck uh, or a tractor just hauling small logs compared to, uh, you know, a full load of, like, small and medium logs. Then that way we'll be able to uh, take out one lumber mill together. Whoa, what the hell am I stuck on there? It just pretty much drove over nothing right there. What the hell? Something invisible. This would be a lot more uh, interesting if we had that trailer on right now. Got myself into a little bit of a tight spot there. Come on, baby. Get over there.
There we go. There we go. That's a tricky spot. I did not notice that when I was coming into that. Apparently Calvin needs a pull or something. <laughs> How come, Jordan? What's wrong with PA, brother? Looks like those guys are going to be good to go without me. I can't really do anything at this point anyway. It's always raining. Yeah, man, it's been a lot of rain this year. It's been pretty crazy, honestly. Kind of been this ongoing joke everybody's been making. The weather this year for PA has just been just bizarre. Could be asked to pull his vehicle out, but I don't I don't know where it is. by the garage. Oh, I see it. I was th I thought he meant the one that he had in the river. That's why I was just thinking it was right around that area. Looking for Kibby up here on the right. We can hit second. There we go. Check the map. All right, he's up here a little bit. Guess he's gonna be in this ditch. <clears throat> right on, Jordan. Totally understandable, my man. Totally. Sometimes that's all you want. Yannick, game name's top of the screen there, buddy. Spin tires, mud runner. Oh boy, look at that tractor. Look at that tractor. What, what? What are you trying to do with that little piece of... Uh... 
who that's what we'll call that. See how close I am to him. Hey, what the hell? Which one's him? Oh, somebody else has them. Holy crap. <laughs> that tractor's taking a little bit of damage over there, I'm sure. Looks like Crown's got a load of uh, long logs on there, too. Alright, he'll be, uh, he'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, we got Wawa's. We got Wawa and we got Sheets. Probably some of you guys have never heard of Sheets. But it's basically like Wawa, but just a lot more options. Nice, Jordan. I can totally agree with that. Oh, what the hell are we hitting? Not hitting anything. Game is just being crazy because I'm close to that point. Look, I'm not trying to get in there, game. Just let me pass. Jeez. Come on. What the hell? I got the clutch pushed in. <laughs> Andrew said, what the hell is a Wawa? Basically a gas station with, uh, they'll, they'll make you food right there on the spot. Like, you have, like, a menu, kiosk, you know, that you go up to and you can order food. Royal Farms? No, man. What's a what's a Royal Farms, George? Yeah, see, Will knows what Sheets is. Everybody that knows what Sheets is loves Sheets. Yeah, George knows too. Buckeyes, never heard of that. Okay, George. <clears throat> Looks like Gibby had a little trouble. Guess he must have tossed in the towel. Totally understandable. I, I get frustrated in this game sometimes as well. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, persevere and stick with it. Other times you're just gonna, you know, say screw the game. I'm done. Nah, Jordan. Okay, Roy. Yeah, Reading isn't really known as one of the nicer uh, <laughs> cities. Reading isn't that far away from me, actually. I've been there before. Seven Eleven, of course. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of Seven Eleven, one way or another. I think this thing is out of fuel. Does this have any fuel? It does. It's 42 liters. How convenient is that? 
I mean, that's not gonna get us very far, but... It'll get us going. Maybe it can get us to that lumber mill. It's not too far away. Turn the all-wheel drive off. We'll just keep it in first gear, try to uh, creep it along here without all-wheel drive on. That all-wheel drive burns up your fuel. Yeah, right, Will. Sure you do. Over a hundred gas pumps. Well, that's crazy, Armando. Sounds like a truck stop, honestly. Oh, dude, cool. I've been to the Pagoda. Awesome, man. Lancaster County, Timothy. I gotta turn the all-wheel drive on here, man. We're never gonna get up this hill. Starting to burn through it real quick at 44 liters a minute. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and we're out of fuel. Hi, right, AJ. If you can get it on PC, I would recommend to get it on PC, but either way, it's a great game to get. The only reason I recommend it on PC is because you can get mods on PC currently that you can't get with, um, console oh let's drive this thing over there now guys just following that along we should have just took this with it Come on. Yeah, definitely get the uh, the Wilds version of the game. All right, cool, George. Not too far off. Nice. Same with Timothy. Just over to the east. But right now what we're doing, guys, we're on our way to t go uh, take fuel to our logging truck that ran out pretty much right outside of uh, its destination. Such a pain in the ass. Yeah, AJ, we're playing online right now. I mean, you can have up to four people in one game at a time. We had four people in here. Kibby just jumped out of the game. We still have Calvin and Crown in here with us. second. Nope. Stalled it out. Oh, 
Nice, Kent. Stuck in a river. Sounds familiar. I just missed my turn. Yep, I gotta make that turn right there. Hey Tim, Strangle holds one of my favorite songs, man. That is just a masterpiece. I don't think I've tipped a fuel truck ever. But this could be a new experience here, guys. Seth, my man, 222 stars. Good old 222. AJ, the point of the game is basically you're establishing an off-road logging company. There's going to be abandoned garages around the map that you're going to want to uh, make sure you lock down. So let me just show you an overview of this map. This is a decent-sized map. We started up here at this garage. You can see there's a fuel station. That's where we filled up the fuel tanker that we're in. The garage that you start in usually is already gonna be opened up. So from there, you're gonna be able to outfit the trucks with different options, like it could be a logging truck, a fuel truck, a repair truck. And um, you can go there to repair your trucks and uh, you can get a small amount of fuel at the garage, but basically you're always gonna go to the fuel station to get your majority of fuel. From there then, you have to go out into the map. As you can see, there's uh, watch points. There's still two left on this map. The whole map was covered with the watch points. You have to unlock those so that you can see the terrain and where you're going. And you have logging kiosk. That's where you're gonna pick up logs. And then you need to deliver the logs to the lumber mills that are located you know, around the map. And we also have another garage over here that we unlocked. So we can also use that kind of as a uh, another location to help switch out, you know, things with trucks. It'd be more convenient if there's another fueling station over here somewhere. But, because then that would definitely make the garage more useful. But that's basically the uh, main point of the game. If any of you guys are new to the stream and you're enjoying it, make sure you hit the follow button. Nice, Jordan. That's crazy, dude. Small world, right? <laughs> Tim. Looks like a forest fire. Not yet, bro. You just gotta wait. When this thing starts spitting out flames, that's when you'll uh, think of a forest fire. Right now, it's just fog. Yeah, David, the time in the game is, is turned up pretty quickly. Uh, let me see, where's the clock at? You see the game time over there? You can see like a minute in the game is, is like a second almost. There, the time is in the top left now. trying to switch gears right there see if we can go a little quicker but the truck was not having it the tractor I should say 
Should probably try to stay out of that rut. Double live gonzo, what's that mean? <laughs> AJ, the maps aren't uh, randomly generated. There are, there's, there's, look at this truck up here. What the hell happened with Calvin? There's a, a bunch of maps that are basically gonna come with the game if you get the new uh, edition, because that'll come with all the DLC. I can't think how many there are at this moment, but there's a decent amount. Gonna push his truck over a little bit. But if you get it on PC, then you're gonna get mods, and then there's there's hundreds of maps you can choose from. And yeah, all the logs are gonna be pre-cut. You're just gonna go to the logging kiosk, and uh, I mean you have the option of just automatically loading your logs, or you could do what I always do and just manually load them. Now, if you play on hardcore, oh shit! His look at his trailer. Good lord, that is crazy, brother. But if you play on hardcore like I do, which enables a bunch of different options, good to go. Or is he flip still? Oh my god, look at that truck, Calvin! What the hell? Looks like that one scene in Superman, you know, where the guy comes out and his logging truck is all smashed with logs stuck through it. I mean, this is just, like, a lost cause. There's no way. I have no idea how he even did something like that. Look, look at he's got trees all around him. There's no way. If that tree wasn't there, maybe. And then this excavator, that's in the way. Not sure if he's there or not. Calvin. See if I can pull that thing out of there. At least pull it up to this tree, then try to flip it over. He said the game went out on me, came back, and it was like this. Well, this is insanity, bro. to make sure that trailer's unhooked. I think it's hooked up. <laughs> Jordan, that's funny, man. Hell, trailer. There you go. No, 
Nah, there's no way. That thing won't even budge. He's gonna just have to abandon that truck for sure, man. There's no way of getting that out. Hey, Adam, don't rub it in my face about that excavator, bro. I wish I could use that thing, man. They don't have anything like that in this game. Unfortunately. Now we can go play a uh, construction simulator and run one. Need to go get myself a drink here in a moment, guys. Uh, actually, it looks like we're going to be... We're at the 10.30 mark here, guys. It looks like we're going to actually be at the end of the stream, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but unfortunately, Rhino has to work tomorrow. This is not my Friday night. This is my Thursday night. But hopefully, we'll be on here streaming tomorrow, guys. And we will be able to uh, finish up this map. We'll get up and uh, get that truck fueled up. Get it up there. Get those logs dropped off. And uh, hopefully get the rest of this map knocked out. Looks like it's going to be a pretty big map to do here. Going to run out of fuel before I get there. Good thing we have fuel on us. Let's fuel it back up. There goes that little truck. Just nudge that thing and it flips. That's how top heavy it is. Looks like the wheel is caught underneath there. There it goes. Well, the guy almost came out the door. Alright, guys. I guess that'll be a, uh, a good way of ending the stream. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. If it was your first time here and you enjoyed watching, make sure you go ahead and hit the follow button. That way you'll get notifications next time we go live. You can also find the, uh, the White Rhino 09 Facebook page that also has all the past broadcasts. So make sure you can go check those out when I'm not live. And I will see everybody hopefully tomorrow. I'm not sure what time yet. We'll post up on the Facebook page. So, have a good one, everybody. See you later.